you are a vegan, absolutely malnourished, the lowest, the bottom of the food chain, that is what you are. You don't even understand the reality of eating meat. You don't understand the reality of this world. How could you ever be happy? Of course you're not happy. You're absolutely depressed. You hate life because you're not living life. All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, there is a new outreach in town. It is called Stop Having Kids. It is not only an anti-natalist movement, but of course, you guessed it, a vegan movement as well. Let's have a look. Stop having kids. Women are not baby-making machines. Let's stop pressuring ourselves and others to have kids. On a healthy woman lays no pressure whatsoever to have kids. It is innate. It is biological. A healthy woman loves to have kids. Okay. So here you have two white dudes protesting. <laughs> For people to stop having children, this is the perfect way to weed yourself out of existence. What's up? You get some haters, huh? Yeah, but uh, honestly, like no exaggeration, it's about 90% support. Cool, oh, awesome. White chicks love it too. White people in general simply have a death wish, it seems. Thank you. Would you? Can I get a picture of my daughter? Oh, yeah. Nice. So this obese mask wearing lady has a bunch of daughters but wants to support some movement that is against people having daughters. I get it. Amazing. Too cool. Too cool. It's just super cool. <laughs> just stop having kids already. <laughs> Topically, I think you're yeah, totally, totally. As you can see, those guys are absolutely malnourished because they're vegan. When you are vegan, you're already depressed. I mean, just look into vegan YouTube, you will see what's up. Most vegans are depressed. There are even studies on that. Most vegans use antidepressants of some sorts because they are depressed. Plants will make you depressed, then you start hating life. I was depressed as a vegan myself. I will never forget that. And nowadays I have to smile about it because it really sounds like a totally different person, which I was when I was a vegan. I was trapped in nihilism. I hated everything around me. I didn't want to be surrounded by people anymore. I started hating them. And to be honest, I didn't even like the animals. What animals? When I was still eating meat, I used to have dogs. I used to go to farms. My uncles have farms. As a vegan, I didn't want any of it. As a vegan, I simply want to be left alone. Everything was miserable. I hated everything. Life didn't make sense. And of course, life doesn't make sense if you don't identify life as what it is. Vegans pretend that we are living in a vegan world. That is not the case. Everything eats each other. Once you realize that, once you return to that cycle, you feel happy again. Simple. Okay, are you going to come do that? I will. Okay. What did he say? He said... What is they, what did they say? Yeah, oh man, it is of course an absolute irrational ideology. People are talking about not having more people, but people are talking about not having more people. If you really want to be an activist, kill yourself. He said, I know you guys should have been aborted. And then he said, if you stand out here long enough, someone's going to come out here and do the job. And then I said, that's crazy. And, yeah, oh, that's just crazy, man. That's just so sad, dude. That's literally what they're advocating for. What's crazy about it, man? I said, okay, are you going to do it? And he said, I will. Yeah, that's crazy talk. Yeah. That's crazy talk. <laughs> so, that's, that's crazy. Yeah. yeah. So, we're, we're trying to... Wait. Make any sense. People, He's saying that we should die. Right yeah. Now. Oh, yeah. The world's been losing its mind, but it's worse yeah. now than ever. Right. Um, right. Um, yeah, the world is losing its mind. It's crazier than ever. What should we do about it? Let's not have kids. But the people in power, let them have even more kids. No worries. We're trying to. They will it's, move it's a, justly over you. A lot of stuff. It's very Stop multifaceted. Having kids, huh? Yeah, that's that's the attention grabbing words, and you know that's what the we we think people should. We think people should stop having kids. So we're being <laughs> straightforward, but we don't support any kind of control over people's lives or their bodies. Um, but yeah, I mean, a lot of people 
are pressured into having kids. And no, a lot you shouldn't of, do it for that reason. No, but that's one of the top reasons why people have kids. Who's been pressured into having kids, man? If anything, if you look at our society, everybody is pressured to not have children already. Don't you see what is going on? People, on average, have 1.5 children. This is what is going on. People having OnlyFans, people having promiscuous sex, people not getting married, women in their 30s, 40s, absolutely depressed because everything indicates to not have children. Pursue a career. That's what's advocated and not having children, having a wholesome family. The only way to get out of this mess is by returning to a real family structure. Simple. And all the reasons to have kids are selfish. No. They're yeah. not. What's an unselfish reason? Did you say all the reasons? Yeah. What's an unselfish reason to have kids? No, I'm I mean, the only thing is... Uh Having children is literally the opposite of being selfish, my friend. I'm a father myself, and once you become a father, your life as such stops. You cannot pursue your pleasure, play video games and jerk off all day any longer. You have to sacrifice your life for a new life for your children and it's absolutely beautiful it is the truest selfless act that i have ever experienced nothing about having children is selfish i'm not i don't believe in any sort of philosophy, philosophy that's all encompassing like an easy answer uh -huh. right? all right and i have a, my own spiritual personal beliefs right mm -hmm. right and there's things we don't understand about reality and life and i'm not i'm not a I don't even want to say what religion I'm in, all right? But I am a religious person. Mm -hmm. I'm not, I'm not a, the, the average religious person. I don't even have to say what it is. But what I'm saying is there is like uh, guy's funny. stuff we don't know about life. So but every reason to have a kid is selfish. That's going too far. You see that? So can you? So no, then say polarizes. what's not. Then say what's not selfish. That polarizes things. Then tell me an example that's not selfish. A polar, what you're saying? What's it? Okay. You're saying there's reasons to have kids that right, are not selfish. Right, right, so I'm I'll saying what's right. a reason yeah, that's not selfish? Really. Just what if? What if? Just say for. Uh, let's just say, what if reincarnation is real and karma is real? Huh? What if we're limitless beings? Right? Mm -hmm. If we're a limitless being, if we're a limitless consciousness, right? Listen to me, all right? If we're limitless fucking consciousness, right? That's deep, bro. I'm giving you an answer. Karma and reincarnation is, is real. Okay, so you're a Hindu. I'm not gonna tell you my religion. Let's get to their Instagram page. Here you see, better to have never existed, says the tombstone. Boo-hoo. Now let's read the caption. Stop having kids, says many of us wish that we were never born. There's absolutely nothing wrong <laughs> with feeling this way. And there's nothing wrong with expressing that you feel this way. Wow. So first and foremost, yet again, little privileged Westerner over here. Those people live in America eating vegan food, being depressed out of their minds, not understanding why they suffer, wishing to die, but being too much of a coward to kill themselves. What is wrong is when people judge others for processing, accepting and relying their feelings that they would have preferred to not come into existence. Ah, oh, that is so wrong. Don't judge me that I don't want to live. What also wrong is people who say that nobody who is alive can feel this way. You are a vegan, absolutely malnourished, the lowest, the bottom of the food chain. That is what you are. You don't even understand the reality of eating meat. You don't understand the reality of this world. How could you ever be happy? Of course you're not happy. You're absolutely depressed. You hate life because you're not living life. We all do things on our own will that we decide later on we wish we hadn't done. But none of us asked to come into this existence or willed ourselves into this existence by any means. Existence was imposed onto us and the idea that a child may one day wish they had never been born as a child or as an adult almost never goes into consideration by natalists before conceiving a child. Memoirs of a Soy Boy even natalists who are barely hanging on to life are having a baby with the goal to bring some happiness and sense of worthwhileness of existing to their life. 
Yes, that is human nature. And as you said already here, you didn't will yourself into existence. Of course, that was God. Who else would will you into existence? You already understand subconsciously that there must have been a will, a reasoning why you came into existence. You, of course, do not believe in God. You, of course, do not even eat the species-specific diet intended by God. Therefore, you're suffering. People who have a tough time accepting basic facts of life. <laughs> who is that? Including that some people wish they hadn't been forced into existence often jump to assumptions about people who express their preferences to have never been born. Everything is a preference nowadays. Being a girl, being a boy, not being alive. Oopsie. These assumptions include that the person is depressed, miserable, negative, suicidal, mentally ill, was abused as a child, etc. Yeah, what else is there, dude? Do you really think that you're not depressed if you don't want to live? Being alive feels amazing. I thank God every single day for being alive. There is nothing more beautiful. I am so grateful for this existence because I get to wake up and eat raw eggs. I continue with my day and eat steak tartar. My life is absolutely beautiful. You suffer. Often the people expressing never wanting to be born aren't any of these qualities. And even if they are, that's irrelevant. <laughs> Someone can be satisfied overall with their life, but still prefer to have never existed. No, that is impossible. It's a challenge for much of humanity to wrap their head around basic concepts, but we will keep expressing what needs to be expressed, no matter how unpopular our viewpoints and commitment to honest expressions are to wider societies. Who cares about your expression? You want to die anyways, man. Let's read the comments. Aaron Janstaff says, this is one of the reasons why I continue to use Instagram and social media. Why do you even continue if you want to die? Because of pages like this that I can relate to. I keep a very small social circle intentionally, I'm sure, as I'm not a big people person. <laughs> and have very few people who can relate to my feelings about life without telling me I need therapy or counseling or that I should go back on antidepressants, which I've been on and off since 14 years old. I don't like being alive most of the time, but thankfully have enough interest and a few people to make it bearable. But in my personal experience of being a living being, it isn't worth it. No, not at all. I lost my father five years ago and can't stand the thought that I may have another 50 years of this yet to come. Thanks for all you here on this page. You are clinically depressed. Seek counsel, seek help, eat meat. Spot on. My life is okay for now, but I honestly wouldn't mind if I don't exist at all. Me neither. Perfectly set. Who are those people? Future Anna says perfectly set. Here's your Instagram. Kiss mouth, bikini, boyfriend, mini skirt, more half naked pictures, coffee, dogs, butt shot, junk food, more bikini shots, tattoos, etc. etc. You name it. I rest my case. Those people are depressed. Why? Because we live in such a society, man. How is this even accepted? I know that this is a very, very mild, normal Instagram account, but there's nothing normal about it for human beings to parade their bodies like that on social media. I know that for most people listening to this, they don't even understand what I'm saying. This is not normal. This is not a normal life. However, in the West, yes, it has become a normal life. And this is why this woman is depressed like the rest and says, perfectly set. Perfectly set for people. People advocating that life is not worth living. Wow. Reliquario says, this is great. Three years ago when I got into antinatalism, I thought it would have never got real. Now there's global movement and even an association. It's hard to believe. So thank you for making it real. I also would like to suggest to you the works of Giulio Cabera. Blah, 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 blah. So you actually want to create real movements within the real world, but you don't want to be alive. Get it. Friends of Anya says, how can people work jobs they hate and have to pay for every little piece of life and still be like, I'm sure my child will love living in a crumbling world with dissipating resources and never ending conflict. Words of absolute weaklings, man. Of course the West will fall with such people. Look at this. Who tells you that you have to work a job that you hate? Who tells you that you have to live miserably? Why don't you make something out of yourself? Where's the motivation? 
motivation? Where's the fire in those people, man? I want this on my tomb. Oh, edgy. This is exactly my point because people will be sad if I die, but they couldn't be sad if I was never born. Ah, oh, get it? Also, it's very selfish to want someone who is suffering through life and will continue to, to not kill themselves simply because they make them happy, not because they want them to have time to become happy. Just do it already. All right, guys, and this is it for today's video. Wow, what kind of beautiful excursion we had today into the depths of the mind of absolute weaklings. Pathetic. Anyways, if you like the video, leave it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, guys, please do so. And if you want to support this channel, all the links are in the description box below. Thank you so much. If you support me, then I might not want to kill myself. Boo -hoo. Thank you so much, guys. All right, guys, as always, may God bless you all. Much love and peace. Wow.